home timers. My dad's just come round. Look at what he's wearing. <laughs> Drop out. Oh. Tell them where you were. Uh, uh, where? <laughs> you were at the hospital. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it was a, I think it was the hospital. <laughs> and the nurses and everybody was looking. At, uh, so what are they looking at? You see, and then when when I got on the bus. <laughs> I saw a good drop out. <laughs> so Maddie bought him it for his birthday from Primark. <laughs> Honestly, look, it's the cutest top. <laughs> it looks so cute. Mm, it's home time, but I'm going out. Guess where I'm going? Got my trekking pack on. Got my dogs. They're loving this. They're saying, can you do a, a major trek every year? Because then we get two hours walk every day. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do two hours today. I'm going to go out basically and get 12,000 steps. So whatever comes first, an hour and a half or 12,000 steps, and I will be back. This is hot. It's hot out there. Come on, we can do it. Come on, come on dogs, come on. Hello, sir. <laughs> Let me just have you just come on bus train and tube. Yeah. <laughs> the hell. Toffee. She a doesn't want to see your toy. Oh, I do. I did want to see it all the time. Just, to see her <laughs> just, just give her the attention for two seconds. I've got seconds. a toilet, a holic, water, a and a pack of crisps. I've got. Yes. <laughs> pack of crisps. Don't you want some dinner? No, no, not really. Really? Why? What have you eaten today? I haven't eaten anything. What sort of dinner? I was going to make something like chicken and salad or something. Here you go, Mom. Your very own. <laughs> Keep it about you. Well, you can have a hot dog. I've got hot dogs. Oh, let me think of that. Yeah. I, I want to see think. what the kids want anyway. Okay. It's two minutes. Put your kids on. <laughs> Sorry. We'll do. That is a march here. So Nan just lost her phone, but show us the contents of your bag. Just snotty tissues. Just snotty tissues. Maddie says it's just Ugh. snotty tissues. It's not snotty! <laughs> what is what it is then? It? <laughs> I don't know. Just wet. Right, we're setting up to review okay. Spider Man Far From Home. Nadia is dressed in a shit pants. Seven quid from Amazon. Cat pants. And I'm and having a mini binge. After my trek, I'm so starving. So hungry. I should have just had a proper meal. But this is what I want. So what you really want? What you really, really want? Zigga, 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 zigga. Hummus, chili, and crisps. Yes. Chili mm. rhymes with something. Oh my Silly God, Billy. Seems so far away. Oh, there is my dear phone ringing and ringing. Two missed calls. I wonder who you're there for. <laughs> so sarcastic. Yeah! I just said, I don't wanna be you anymore. Are we up, Nan? Are we up? Are you both in shot? What are you doing? Are you both in shot? Are you, both in are shot? you in shot, Nan? No, I'm not yet, but I will be in a second. Next to you, Mark, yeah? Yes. Of you say you're making hot dogs. Hot dogs singing in the dead of night. <laughs> Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see. Blackbird smile. Blackbird smiling in the dead of night. Bloody hell. What's happened? Move your dirty wings and go to flight. Ow. Oh, blimey. I felt that. You abusive mother.
God, I was suddenly back in Blenheim Crescent as a child. It was so bizarre. Right. Oh, it's two, two <laughs> seconds away from having one of my clients. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you laugh. Oh. Um, are, you, are you guys rolling? Yeah, we've been rolling for ages. Let's all stop and start again. Yeah. Spider-Man Far From Home cast. Do you know you when he's in this sort of mood? What are you just showing, Mother? <laughs> Right now, but it'll be there with you. Sunny Jim. Interesting distinction from the Maddy Boo. You're like uh, Tom Holland with his glasses. Spider Man. Spider Man. Does whatever Spider Man oh, can. <laughs> hey, that's good. Come on, that's not good. All right, fuck it. I love him. You right, are you, but can I just see your shot? <laughs> Mum, you're falling out of shot. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to put on the chat. Going like that. I was supposed to be filming. Are we good to go? Yes. Nad? Am I right to be filming? Are we right to be filming? Nad? Yes. Are you going to make <laughs> sudden loud noises? No. You might though. Did I'm sorry. Cack pants. <laughs> It's really nice that we have a break from vlogging on Tuesdays because I'm absolutely knackered. So tonight I've edited and we're putting up a relationship podcast, but the girls have just wandered over to the table to my right with the most ginormous hot dogs. I love hot dogs. But look what I've got. Look what my wife has made for me. Is this still on the programme then, Ned? A lot of people said they loved my singing in the garden, Ned. They said they preferred it to yours. So I'm now going to sing. You know, there's a new documentary about Pavarotti coming out. Apparently, he was a really sweet guy. Sounds like a boring documentary. Oh. <laughs> What did you have for dinner? Like listening to music with friends. Egg on toast. Oh, was it nice? It was delicious. So why are you over midweek? The subs weren't there, why? Because um, a very special film came out today and we have to get the review out sharpish. And so I came over from East London to here and um, I'm here now and I'm going back in the morning. Oh, sorry. Fuck off! Stop it! <laughs> Press that red thing. <laughs> Don't say that in public. <laughs> you missed it, man. Are these new, these boys? Yeah. I hate to speak before Oh my god, I want to be ill. I want to be physically ill. Why? I cannot watch these people kiss. I cannot hear it. Oh, the sound of it! It's vomit inducing. <laughs> the sound of it, don't you think? Hey. I bet they had the kissing yeah, sound. Yeah. Yeah. For what? Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. Uh, so, we're, we're in pieces because we've just watched the episode of Love Island where. I'm totally exhausted as well because basically we've done an hour of live television as well because every commercial break. We've, we've done a live on our Instagram and we've all been, dev it's been great sharing it with the followers though, haven't we? Because we've just seen one person after another get their heart broken. But like you said, I think one of the most, one of the, one of the sweetest things to see there was the, how it, it looked like it was happening to each of the women as the they women saw it happening. The women were feeling it yeah, yeah, yeah. as badly and the boys for yeah. Jordan. Yeah. I know Tommy. lots of you don't watch Love Island, but honestly, it's been oh so, good, so good. Do you I like don't... My, do you like my pride? Yeah, outfit? I do actually. Why is it connected at the bottom like that? They're it's called they're called cack pants. Yeah, to catch your cack. Catch your, oh nice. Um, I don't watch that kind of program, and I absolutely thought that was the it best was hour brilliant. of television I've watched in <laughs> about the last three years. No, it was longer than an hour. Last hour and four minutes. years. It was so good. That was so stressful. So don't 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 go choosing someone else. It makes it makes you feel vulnerable, doesn't God, it? I'm so glad like not in the dating game. What a nightmare! I'd hate Jesus it. Jesus Christ! Well, you better worry because I'm losing weight by the minute. What does that mean? I've got three abs and I'm trying to get six. Idiot. I've just got to find them. I don't know where I put them. Bloody hell, babe. These flowers haven't lasted long. Oh, I know. I 
don't know what to say. I felt a bit bad for you. They look dishevelled. They've done it, can I be honest? I think you should probably ripped off. Ripped off? What do you mean? Can you put them on Saturday? Substandard, yeah, but the heat, it's been a wilting heat on, on um, Yeah, but I've been mean, putting fresh Saturday. water in them and everything. I mean, there's dead as a dodo. So they might look good, but I shouldn't go back there. How can you have a bad peony? You've either really got a peony or not a peony. I really loved them, but they were dead in. OK. A bit disappointed with that. No, I was, because it was really nice having They flowers. sort of look like a sort of, I don't know, an ageing TV star that's slightly lost their sort of, I don't know, colour and shine. Do you feel... I mean the flowers. Shit. <laughs> You're off, Mum. I am. You came. I saw. You I reviewed Spider-Man Far From Home. Yes. And now you're off. Yes. All right. I'm going to come with you. I'm going to walk to the cafe. I'm going to let her go, and then I'm going to play oh. Nanny Dies theme tune. Oh no, don't. Which will be the theme tune, Mum, we play when your coffin heads off into the, uh, into the... ether. So for the subs, explain to them, what course are you going to today? Um, it's called American History. It's, I'm interested in contemporary American literature. Oh God, that sounds so boring. But uh, fiction, in fact. But, um, but somehow I've got this longer course, which includes American history through contemporary literature and film. God, that sounds even more boring. Have um, you signed up to too much? I have, I have. But this is the first one on hit other... I'm very interested in the politics of America. Who couldn't be with Trump there? So where do you start on this course? I'm starting today with... No, no, no. What, at what point in history? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, American I... Civil War? No, no, no. Much more recent than that. I think from Nixon. Vietnam? Nixon. Oh, right. Nixon. Oh, you need um, to go and see Apollo 11 then. Before? Oh, yeah, I can't see it before it. Cause it's have you seen it? No. Yeah. Oh, I've got to see your review. Yeah, you have. Did you like it? Give me a clue. Did you like it? I thought it was absolutely astonishing. Oh, I had a feeling it might yeah, be. Yeah, it was really quite... The first half hour was something quite remarkably special. Really? Mm, yeah. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Good luck with your already. course. Oh, good luck with my course. Yeah, oh, you'll see. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Music, it's a sad face. <laughs> Hi, home timers. It's Marky Mark and the Fairy Five. I don't know who the Fairy Five are, but I like the number five. And if I had like a gang, I'd want five of us. But that would include me. Otherwise, it would be the sexy six. Welcome to the strange place of inside my head. Um, no, it's, uh, it's, what day is it? It's Thursday, it's nearly the weekend. Thursday's the day that the weekend starts. If you're a drinker, I'd always go out on a Thursday night, soften myself up, have a bit of a large one because you knew that everyone was going to be in a good mood on the Friday. So you'd go into work on the Friday and as a high-functioning alcoholic, working in an office with lots of other people who like a drink, there was always going to be someone who I could go out drinking with again on a Friday night. So Thursdays for me is the sort of unofficial start of the weekend. Um, I'm just having, obviously, a late lunch break. Um, and I'm in quite a good mood. And I think that's partly because I know that Kiki is in a phenomenally excited mood. Um, I promised I wouldn't film her because we do actually, across our channels, respect our children, all of our children's desires for privacy. Some of you often ask, you know, why don't we see more of Izzy and Fleur? Well, Izzy and Fleur are now adults and they live their adult lives and they have their own little Instagram accounts and they do their own things and they live in Bristol. And we're not often in Bristol, though I am heading down soon to go and see them. Um, we'd love to see them more. Um, it's part of children leaving the nest, isn't it? And given that it was a curiously blended family nest, they didn't exactly leave our nest. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. They're at that age where they're living their lives. And we're not the kind of parents, or we try not to be the kind of parents, that guilt trips them into having to come and see us and all that kind of stuff. But we would love to see more of them. We miss them. But there we go. But equally, with Maddie and Kiki, there are many times that, you know, very, very rightly, they don't want to be on mum and dad's social media. So anyway, so today is one of those instances where Kiki wants to privately indulge in her greatest 
passion. And what's happened today? Yes, it's American Independence Day. It's the 4th of July. I love that. American Independence Day. The day they became independent from us. From the bastards us. Um, so, yeah, American Independence Day and 4th of July. And the reason that's a bigger, bigger day than normal in our household, though we love all things Americana, is because Stranger Things Season 3 has landed. And I've set them up in the teenage room that Stephen built the partition wall on with the television set to Netflix, ready to go. And they're going to binge watch Stranger Things. Kiki, thanks to our social media, has created a little micro social media friendship with one of the stars, Millie Bobby Brown, who already texted her this morning to say, I hope you enjoy the show. Let us know what you think. How bloody cool is that? Oh, what I would do for Spielberg to drop me a text and say, let me know, Mark, what you think of this, that and the other. Uh, I'd let him know about this. I wouldn't let him know about that. And I'd tell him that the other was a little bit predictable. But here's the thing. I've started editing my short film, The Gangbuster, which we were shooting uh, over a period of time over the last year. Uh, very exciting looking at the rushes. Uh, Oscar, the dear, our dear little Oscar, who I don't know if you remember, cooked that really cinnamony steak and was in a couple of our vlogs. Um, just in the process of editing him, uh, syncing sound, doing all the technical nonsense. Uh, and that's that's nice. That's that's really enjoyable. But anyway, I just thought I'd touch base and say, hello, welcome to home time. Tonight, what's happening tonight? I'm taking Nadia out to see a play on Shaftesbury Avenue. We're going into theatre land and I think I might even treat her to a Vietnamese on uh, Dean Street. <laughs> Not a Vietnamese man. That's disgusting. No, I mean a Vietnamese bowl of noodles or something like that. Because I know it's her favourite and she's always bemoaning the fact that we don't go in. I like Vietnamese, but I look at the menus, I don't know what the hell any of it is. And I just don't know what to choose and I don't know what's appropriate. I'm a little bit English and a little bit male on that front. So that's that. That's where we're at. That's where we're going. That's the crack. And that's that. Been to the dentist, How's got tooth? toothache. I Let hate see. toothache. Mm. I hate dentists and I hate toothaches. Mm. <sighs> gotta get home. Have a little sleep, and then hopefully, if my tooth is better, we're going to go to the theatre tonight. Well, I'm aren't taking we? you out to the theatre, aren't I? Yeah. I was going to, I was going to take you to have some Vietnamese food on Dean Street, but mind you, Soho is going to be rammed. This is the kind of weather, isn't it, that everyone comes out in Soho, and it's yeah. just horrific. Yeah. Better off sitting in our own garden and having food and eating noodles and having Joe Wick's food. Having proper food. Do you want to hear how extraordinarily extreme the scale of uh, knife crime has got in our borough? No. Well, no, listen to this. Youngsters are now getting stabbed, because they think they've got the statistics, because of course stabbings, people go to hospitals, you, you get the statistics, you know how many people have died, all these terrible, terrible statistics, you know, they're readily available. Mm. But the st statistics that we don't hear about are, get this, there's an increasing number of teenagers who are knife knife crime victims who are sewing up their own wounds oh, not God. to go into hospital and we're now getting infections and sepsis and all sorts of other diseases and illnesses from knife wounds people are repairing their it's a lovely own knife sunny wounds. day i thought we were going to have a nice conversation i just thought that was an extraordinary ex sort of development of the knife crime issue in, in london it's all over lbc today. but anyway what are you doing this sunny day ice creams cocktails lying in the garden let's think of some happy news come on mark give me some happy news uh stranger things season three Yay. has landed and the girls and are the girls in the middle are of so watching happy it. it's, it's the biggest event in kiki's life it really hottest is hottest day of the year and they're in a darkened room, room. But they're happy. Yeah, they're very happy. Yeah, I can't wait to see I'm Kiki. happy too. We're going to review it. I'm going to watch each one of them, but she wants to watch the whole series in one go. Behind this door are creatures of another world. You made, you made Kiki's morning. You know Millie texted her. Did she? Yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Can't wait oh. to hear later. Let's see what happens. Can you see what she looks like? That's a total stretch. I don't know. Don't film us. Don't film us. We look homeless. Is it good? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that told me. Basically, get, get out. Get out.
Well, <clears throat> one minute it sounded like something awful was happening, the next minute it sounded like something the most hysterical was happening. I've just eaten two cocktail sausages without even thinking. <laughs> 